The city of Kelowna is looking at all avenues to fight wildfires. The city closed a portion of Knox Mountain on Wednesday as they work with Fire Swarm Solutions Incorporated on the best way to integrate firefighting drone technology into their modern firefighting approach. We don't want we don't want to be complacent. We, you know, we want to be cutting edge. We want to look at what options are available, but at the same time, you know, be responsible and be efficient in how it's actually fit in with our crews. There's there's lots of interesting ideas out there right there now, but they don't always seem to fit in you know, into day-to-day -day operations. Firesworm demonstrated how their drones, controlled by a proprietary logarithm, can be used to control multiple drones, picking up and dropping water autonomously, even at night. That is where we are going to be starting operations, is nighttime operations. The Thunder Wasp quadcopter, built by the Swedish company ACC Innovation AB, can lift 400 kilograms and run for two hours. The drone can also be transported on the back of a pickup truck to remote locations where it can autonomously collect water and dump that on a wildfire. It's essentially showing our solution concept, having multiple drones flown by our swarm algorithm, picking up water autonomously and dropping off water autonomously, and showing how the concept will fit within the uh, fire department at a later date. Helicopters are one of the most effective wildfire firefighting tools, but they're also one of the costliest. The cost of operating these machines is a fraction than that of a helicopter. They're flown by a single pilot able to operate five machines at the same time. So you can understand the economies of scale when it comes to operating multiple of these machines and especially able to fit in a niche where flying at night is simply unsafe for pilots right now. We're at this point in society where the old adage of allowing a fire to burn out of control because it's not close to an uh, urban area is simply not working anymore. There has to be the thought given to being able to suppress fires before they get to a certain size or else you end up with a completely out of control fire. Delorier says his first drone should be operational by this fall. He also says the hope is to have his drones mapping, detecting, and fighting wildfires in BC by the summer of 2026. Rob Gibson, Castanet News, Kelowna.